and welcome back to another episode of Caitlin Forgot to Plan a Video, so we're filming another reading vlog. <laughs> this is becoming a bit of a regular occurrence. This isn't going to be a full weekly vlog either, it is already Friday afternoon. I have to get this video up on Monday, so hopefully we have enough footage. I am about to start reading a book that I'm so excited for. I'm about to start Mortal Skin by Lily Main, which actually came out today in Australia. I'm assuming it'll come out very shortly for the US and the rest of the world. It should already be out by the time this video goes up, so kind of irrelevant. <laughs> I don't remember a whole lot about this book, just that it involves Faye, so I'm definitely gonna have to reread the blurb for this one, but I am so keen. Okay, I'm just gonna read it with you. I first saw the folk when I was a little boy, when they started appearing in my garden with their unnatural, cruel beauty and honeyed words and veiled taunts. I grew up with big green eyes watching me from the forest, whispers from the trees, shimmering skin darting between the bushes, Black creatures always lurking in the shadows. While they were here, I thought nothing of them. It wasn't until they were gone that I realized it wasn't normal. But it isn't until I'm 21, when my life is in ruins, that they come back to take me away. They say I'm not fully mortal. They say I should be among them. The unseely ruler wants me on her land for reasons no one will explain to me. But it's her aloof, painfully beautiful son who captures my attention and refuses to let go. The cold, black-eyed assassin prince who strikes fear into the hearts of all folk who I've been warned about repeatedly, who watches me always. I don't trust the folk, so I ignore their fearful advice to stay away from him. I ignore all of them except him, despite everything telling me that he can't be trusted, that he's just as bad as the rest of them, that he's playing games with me. The clueless mortal held here against his will, but I want him. Okay, this is the first book in a trilogy about a dark fae assassin prince and a mortal who is thrown into the cruel world of the folk. Does that mean that all three books are going to be based around these characters? Because I don't know if I can deal with a cliffhanger right now. Either way, I'm so keen. I read all of the little teasers and everything that she's posted on her Facebook page, so... I'm more than ready to delve into this. I was really trying to figure out what I wanted to read because I just finished reading Savage Rivals by Becca Steele this morning and if you haven't read that yet and you love Enemies to Lovers, then I would 100% recommend jumping on it as fast as you can because I was obsessed, couldn't put it down, absolutely loved it, five star read and I already want to reread it just because I loved it so much. I'm kind of happy that I finished it and then I had to go to work straight away because then I didn't really have to deal with the book hangover, I could just put it to the back of my mind and knowing that I have a Lily Main book to delve into next, I'm good. I'm 90% of the way through this book and I'm so anxious because I did see a Facebook post saying that someone was like crying at the end of this and they're devastated and I'm pretty sure there's a cliffhanger so I'm scared. <laughs> okay, Whew. I can do this. <laughs> Okay, they went wrong when they said they'd, they'd be tears. Oh no. I don't want to read it anymore. <laughs> I'm not even done yet and this is awful. <laughs> How long do I have to wait for the next one? It can't finish like this. <gasps> no. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? I think this is the last chapter, and if it ends like this, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, but I want to rage. Oh. Bro. <gasps> what? So many plot twists. That's the end of the book. Sorry for such an immense cliffhanger. It is a doozy. Thanks, Lily. You may still have some unanswered questions at the end of this book. No shit. Are you kidding me? 
I now have to live for however many months without the sequel to this book. Oh, well, if you want a book hangover, read this one. What do I do now? That was brilliant. <laughs> I'm like, this is the worst angle I could possibly be filming in. But anyway, that book was a work of art. Lily Maine never disappoints. And this one, like, it's so different from her monstrous series, but still so good. And I am excited because we are getting a new monstrous book next, but also like, I need book two, bro. H how do you want me to function? I'm gonna chill here while I figure out what to do next. Thank you.